Hey, how you doing, Dave Roberts here? Uh, man, it has been raining all day. We've had a lot of rain and more rain and more rain here lately. And uh, man, just sure enough, as soon as, you know, Sabine Lake was bouncing back, uh, you know, uh, the, the drought last year got a lot, a lot more salt water in and definitely made the fishing a whole lot better. And kind of when you start seeing things to start, I guess revive and everything starts looking good. Here comes down, you know, mother nature doing what she does, but no worries. We've been through it. Uh, we'll definitely get out of it. But right now Sabine Lake, uh, if you go look at the uh, salinity chart on it, it's pretty much showing about fresh water all the way out to the jetties. Uh, that's a lot of fresh water. It happens, you know, especially with the runoff from the Natchez and Sabine, but that's okay though. There's still, plenty of opportunities to go catch fish. Uh, right now, if I was to go, like I said, with all the rain, I would definitely be spending time on the south end, uh, definitely closer in the areas of uh, kind of between the jetties, kind of ship, the ship channel area, right, right around the intercoastal. Uh, the trout should be stacked up there. Uh, please, if you do go, please, you know, abide by the laws, uh, you know, the, Please don't take more than what you need. Uh, you know, bring some home. I said, I understand. Let's go have a fish fry, but uh, please, you know, don't don't stack up the coolers. And you know, obviously, guys, they want to run two a days, and it, it takes a toll on, on our fishery, especially when it's just now bouncing back. But the good news is, though, uh, we've seen it. The redfish they tend to thrive in it. The uh, marsh right now, I haven't been. It's been been a few days since I've been, but. Uh, the fresh water coming down should grow plenty of grass and hey, plenty of grass in the marsh says plenty of shrimp, plenty of crabs. And along with that, you know, place, places for shad balls to get and everything, just redfish won't be far behind it. Uh, which, you know, so this should be in there. This should be easy to target, easy to find. With all the grass growing, the water should be clear, should be looking good. So, I'm hoping we don't get any more rain. Uh, I'm hoping that minus the rain and I hope that the dams don't really start opening up too much more, but you know, you can't, can't really uh, do much about that. So in the meantime, uh, sitting there, been tying some flies, uh, doing a bunch of research. I'm headed to Florida here uh, in about three weeks. Going to try to do some tarpon fishing there, do something different that uh, we've never done. So we'll see how the, all that goes. But like I said, uh, Speed Lake's going to be hurt a little bit, but don't worry. Fishing's still good. Uh, Y'all get out there, be careful, be safe. And remember, just have fun and uh, enjoy life. Thank you.